Keeping local bridges safe. One year ago today, the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed in Baltimore, killing six people. The entire 1.6 mile structure crumbling into the water below after a cargo ship hit it. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. Researchers at Michigan State University have been creating smart technology to help prevent these types of disasters. Today, Maryland's top leaders gathered near the site of the bridge collapse to remember the day. A preliminary report from the National Transportation Safety Board said the cargo ship lost power before it struck the bridge. The bridge then collapsed into the river, killing six construction workers who were on the bridge at the time. Governor Wes Moore gathered with family members this morning to remember the lives that were lost. We remember the cold morning in March that changed our state forever. And we remember the tears that we shed and the uncertainty that we all felt. Construction on a new bridge is set to begin by the end of this year. News 10's Mars Anderson is live in Okemos tonight where professors at Michigan State University are using new technology to improve safety for bridges and other infrastructure here in Michigan and across the country. Mars? Hi, Anna David. Yeah, I am at the Civil Infrastructure Lab right here in Okemos. And if you can look over here, these are some beams that would typically be used on highway and they've been through fire or force during some engineer testing for new technology like these sensors that are used at the Mackinac Bridge and around the world. Now they provide real time monitoring if disasters occur like earthquakes, fires and impacts like collisions to alert if there is construction needed or evacuations. The collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge continues to raise concern for the nation's aging infrastructure. We have a lot of bridges built in the 40s, 50s, and they're reaching toward the end of their lifetime. So we have a lot of issues, but we don't have the resources to rebuild. So we have to look at ways to maintain and extend their life. Dr. Nazar Lejnef and graduates in the Michigan State University College of Engineering are developing sensors powered by artificial intelligence. Installed during construction to monitor damage before it turns dangerous and tells them how to fix it. It's called MIDAS. So this AI system can uh, you know, uh, process the data on the structure as it's collected and then uh, in theory identify, and we've seen it work, identify anomalies and things uh, before they get worse. Listening the whole time and understanding how the bridge is behaving. Legendf says the idea for Midas stemmed from the 2007 bridge collapse in Minneapolis and is now being adapted to monitor everything from roads to buildings and dams. It's a process that marries computer science and civil engineering. Because the AI knows exactly that this is the normal behavior of a bridge. We can run different scenarios. What if it's hit by a, a barge or a boat that hits one of the piers? What if there is a fire? and then we know exactly how to prepare for those events. There have been problems there and no one could say, uh, solve it. So we, with these new, new tools and new intelligence, make a revolution for these things and try to innovate. Now you can still see we're inside of the lab now. You can see a lot of the work that is being done. Now this innovation is helping to prevent disaster, like, you know, at the Key Bridge that happened over a year ago. This technology also just highlights that there is a need for more computer scientists and civil engineers helping to identify unseen problems before they happen. I'm live in Okemos, Mars Anderson, News 10. All right, Mars, thank you. The Mackinac Bridge is among 68 bridges of concern for transportation safety officials. They say the bridges should be assessed to see if they're at risk of collapse if hit by a ship. Now, the National Transportation Safety Board is urging owners of these bridges to undertake immediate vulnerability assessments.